Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Oztron and we are back playing Screwdrivers. And for today's episode, we are going to start the Tech Tree career path. Now we've already finished the, what is it called? The rank list careers and uh, did all the challenges there and got like gold for all the achievements and even got into the top five and 10% on a lot of the leaderboards on that. So. Now it's time to go down the tech tree path and kind of see what that's all about. So I think we'll, we'll do that here in a second. But first I want to go over a couple of little things that I've been working on. And one is what I'm driving now. So a lot of you guys, if you've been watching this, this channel on this uh, particular game for a bit, then you've seen this car kind of a lot because this has been what I've been driving a lot on many of the races and just kind of playing around with, especially during the intro, because it's just kind of fun and it's super torquey, makes a lot of crazy sounds. But I've added a active arrow thing on the back, so we have a little spoiler that comes up like this. And I know it's kind of funky. I could do it a couple of different ways, but this particular way I found to be fairly useful for like coming around turns really quick and hitting the e-brake and then making that turn. So normally when you come around a, a turn and you're going like really fast, like what this car can, this car can actually really fast. Uh, when you come around a turn, you hit the brakes, it just it just doesn't have it in it. So I needed something to be more like a parachute for when I wanted to slow down. And so building this little function inside, actually like inside the vehicle, actually creates a, a kind of a parachute action and actually somewhat lifts the back end up a little so you know you can kind of see it in action it's it's kind of crazy so basically if i hit the brakes that's all four wheel braking right here and it works okay for just slowing the vehicle down with like losing control and then the e-brake you know like that's the e-brake right there it locks up the back end which on this car since i have four wheels in the back it really really like locks it up and and doesn't allow it to drift around corners very much but i need the four wheels because this thing has so much torque that it can lose control off the off the line like you guys can see like how fast the acceleration is so i wanted to kind of mix the two together i needed something that would give me like an e-brake feel so i could whip the back end around and but slow me down a lot like it like i do with the four wheel brakes if that makes sense so i combine the buttons a little bit and so this is the e-brake so i actually have them separated and this is the wing and then I can press both buttons and see that instant change of direction like that. So I can just, it really slows down really good. I haven't done it in the air though, <laughs> but it works. It works, uh, you know, fairly well and kind of interesting, you know, once you get the hang of it, see how it, it kind of just whips me around like that. And I can just keep, you know, it, it just slows me down and I can keep my speed up a little bit and it downshifts a little bit. So that's a good turn. Oh, oh, that's a little too much, but it even works pretty well in the dirt. So I can kind of keep going around the track pretty quick, hit this and then hit that like that. And just gets me just enough to allow me to haul around these turns like this. And, you know, it does slow me down a good chunk. Why? That was a little too much. So I kind of get the idea. I, I'm trying to do this, talk it through while racing all at the same time. It's a little challenging. So kind of get the idea like how this is working and it, it just it's just a little nice little feature I think and this vehicle oh my gosh holy cow oh yeah I don't think anything would have helped with that particular amount of speed there so this this vehicle can get up to about 300 miles an hour straight out it easily can do 200 so and that's not that's not uh, kph that's actually miles per hour so I don't know what that is in KPH. It's like 450, 400, something like that. So let's take a look at this thing real quick and you guys can check it out. So basically I'm using one of the hydraulic cylinder looking things. I don't know what those are exactly, but it just basically pushes this up. It's the four block one and there's a two block, a four block. And I think there's even like a larger, big fat one, you know, that you can use. And uh, they're all the same length, I, th I think. I think the, I think the bigger, the really big one is really wide but i think it's the same length and then i have these hinged together like this so you can kind of see i have the spoiler on the on the on a little like five whatever five hole little piece there i don't know what you call these little connector block 
and and so it just basically does that so if we kind of look around you can actually see how it it captures the wind as it goes through and forces it you know downward it, it's pushing it so far forward you know and it really does work and just to give you an example of how how good it works if we go here to the build and then i can actually show you guys a closer look of, at this thing so so yeah so there's it's these blocks oops wrong dang it let's go back it's this item here so we have the piston yeah they're like cylinders pistons whatever you want to call it so this one is the l2 so it goes two blocks this one's the l4 which goes four blocks this is the l7 which goes seven blocks but see it's kind of chunky I think it's the same height and everything, but it's a little on the fat side. So it makes it a little more difficult to squeeze into tight places. But yeah, so that's that's what I used for this thing back here. I was gonna use the servos, but I, I just found this to be a simplistic version without having to add too much. Whereas the servos, I found myself wanting to do all kinds of crazy stuff. And I'm, I'm kind of like, the servos are, are bugged out. I, I don't understand if I put two servos on it, I can't make one servo like the A key and the other servo the D key or, or vice versa. I can't make one the Q key and one the E key. They whatever whatever I sign like if one's the Q key, then they're both the Q key and I can't separate the keys. So if I have like, you know, two or three or four servos, they they all take one default key and they all turn the same way. And I want to control them independently because I want, as I go into a turn, these to flap around. So to act as a inner inside like air brake, and then these on the outside back here to act as the outside air brake, or just basically they're both inside, just depending on when I'm taking a turn on the inside or not, I want these to flatten out and this, you know, to act as an, as a brake and then, you know, stuff like that. Same thing with like, if I'm doing speed runs, It'd be nice to have these on all of these on a servo. And then as we get faster and faster and faster, these could level out to be real flat instead of uh, staying as a spoilers because they add so much resistance when when they're in this position. But if we could angle them up a little bit, add a little bit of, you know, almost lift, lighten the vehicle, then we could, you know, get a much higher top speed by taking some of the weight off the tires and stuff like that. So so anyway, that's that's a something I guess that the devs are working on, but but you know, you guys get the idea. So yeah, so one important thing here is that when you're when you're connecting this thing, the piston or anything you want to move, it cannot be attached to one of these little dowel rods or whatever right here these little wooden pieces it has to be on like an axle because that's the only way it will allow it to rotate so that's why i have an axle here an axle there an axle there and and so they they have to allow it to to actually rotate as it pivots upward otherwise it will just lock in so if i put dowel pins like here and over on this side or something then it would just lock up completely and and these are actually so this spoiler right there is kind of glitched into that piece but you guys can see that it's not this spoiler is not connected to any of this pieces here and it's on its own little thing so it's connected right there then we have the cylinder and then this is a thing for the cylinder to pivot around same thing for this one and then these are statically connected to this piece right here and then this piece is, oh no, I'm sorry, they're not statically connected. They're statically connected to this piece, which pivots. And then this is kind of like the main support between the spoiler piece, if that makes sense. So, so anyway, so that kind of gives you an idea. So if we go here real quick over to this supersonic track and we just do like the, the, the little race here or whatever, I don't know what this is called, but if I just take off from here and go to the speed trap at the end, you guys can see like what my top speed is. So I'm not going to activate the arrow thing at all. I'm not going to do any of that, but you guys can see like how that's functioning. And, and then let me just, we're just going to accelerate from here and go to the finish line. So, all right, keep it straight. We'll see what our top speed is when we get to the end of the finish line. Should be like a 250 maybe. Somewhere around there, it'll get up to 300 over, you know, right about there. So, but I think we can get to the finish line at about 250. There we go, 250, 251. So that gives you an idea like that. And then we can hit this to make a, an aggressive turn about. Holy cow, that's kind of crazy. Uh, 
So let me just, instead of driving all the way back, I'm just going to restart the level in here. Okay, so now we're going to do the same race, but I'm going to keep this up the whole time. And you guys can see what kind of effect it has. Get rid of that. All right, here goes. You can actually see the vehicle acting a little different. Now, one thing's interesting, I have a six speed in this and we were able to get to our sixth gear, but now it, it's creating so much drag that we can't even get to the sixth gear. So we're now topping out at 183. So it basically took about 60 miles an hour off of our time. And if I let go of it, we'll instantly start increasing in speed. It makes a gear shift back down to the six or back up to the sixth gear. And then we start increasing in our speed again. So when we're at 250, uh, 260, and then we'll just keep on climbing here until about 9,000 RPMs. But if I put this up, watch watch what happens to the miles per hour. If we start going down instantly, right about all the way back down to 180 miles an hour, it'll actually downshift automatically into fifth gear at some point. Not really sure when it'll do that. I think it's somewhere close. And we get to this next tick, maybe. Maybe not, maybe it's the next one. But I have I have it floored, so you guys can see it's still it's still dragging the car down and slowing it down. So you, it's kind of kind of crazy, but I don't know. So it should downshift, but I don't know why it's not. I guess I was going a little too fast. So yeah, it's getting there. But all right, there we go. So you guys get an idea of how this works. You see how we can do that change of a direction? And if I put it up, you guys can see what happens. It actually lifts the back end up. So it's putting all that weight, you know, it's capturing all the air and then kind of diverting it downward. So it's actually lifting our vehicle up, but I can make these sharp turns like that and just come to an instant, you know, slow down and make everything while I'm, and never have to let off the gas, you know? So it makes for a nice, you know, system to, to you know, seriously air, air brake, I guess. All right, so that's that thing that I've been working on. And I'll upload this, I guess, to the to the workshop. I'll try to remember to do that. If I don't, leave a comment below. Just remind me if I if you don't see it up on the workshop or if you're looking for it. And and I just assign this. So I use a controller, but you can assign it to whatever key you want. I think I, I think you can put it on like the Z key or the E key or something like that. Or you can just use it for I think spacebar and make it like an emergency brake key. So you can bind the two together and it'll work fine that way too. So anyway, so that's that's a solution to that until they get the servos working a little better then then I'll I'll mess with those differently. And I know a lot of you guys are always like put the race suspension on, put the race suspension on for lower better uh, ground clearance and and aerodynamics and all that stuff. Yeah, that's you're right. That's how it should work. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it doesn't though. So it the game actually but it seems to prefer the off-road suspension in just about every case. And I, it just tends to keep the wheels planted on the ground, even with the body roll and, and kind of throwing the off, the, you know, off throwing the, the center of gravity of the vehicle off when we're making sharp turns and stuff like that. With the off-road suspension, it's always keeping the tires planted on the ground. And as long as the tires are on the ground, then the game kind of behaves better in a sense. And so, so one thing I've noticed is that with the harder, stiffer suspension, even on the the asphalt tracks, it's they're very bouncy and they bounce. And once you lose grip, it's just all over. And the only way to compensate for it is put more spoilers on your car for more downforce, which then still has the negative effect of slowing your vehicle down even more. And so now you just end up putting a bunch of things to solve one problem that it continues to slow your vehicle down as you add on more things to try to keep it planted on the ground when you know the game seems to work you know better with the off-road suspension because the tires are always on the ground because they have so much travel and they just adapt to the the surface and irregularities on the uh, the pavement versus even the dirt and even these slicks I, I think perform better in the dirt than the actual big chunky dirt tires do it's kind of strange so i don't know i think it just might depend on how your car is set up and what kind of power you're making in your power plant and all that stuff but anyway just just kind of what i've been experiencing so far so you guys let me know what you guys you know experience in, in the comments and maybe maybe i'll play around some other ideas as you guys suggest new stuff and so that's this is one thing that i wanted to cover before we jumped into the other deal uh i know my videos are long but <laughs> 
Mm. I'm always covering and trying to go over stuff. So in the last episode, I did a whole thing on building a helicopter. And so I have a new version of it here that is not like 100% refined or anything, but it is it it is a little bit. And I'm going to go over some of that real quick too. So let's just load this up into the little island here. And let's just go, let's go right here. So this thing, if you notice, first of all, I added steering to it. I wish it, can, can we, we don't have brakes. <laughs> I need some brakes. Do we have, we don't even have an e-brake, do we? Uh, nope, we don't. So, so I was just gonna roll for a second, but what I wanted to show you guys is that I added a whole bunch of blocks to it and I weighed it down even more to make it heavier. Look at that, man, we're just rolling. <laughs> and, and I wanted to see what kind of like, you know, capabilities of lift, you know, that we, we could achieve with the current setup. So the only thing I added was just the tiny winglets on the edge of the two spoilers that I had there, the two carbon fiber spoilers, and I put on little wooden, little winglet pieces. And I really just did that for style. I don't think it really added too much. It actually may have slowed my propellers down because they're much heavier than the carbon fiber version. Uh, then also I added two weights in the front and the back to help it uh, stay, uh, I guess, upright. It had a tendency in the last version to man, it's just going to to want to roll over on top of itself just because it was so light. So now that we have a bunch of weight underneath it and apparently we're just, <laughs> we're, we're about to do some challenges. So let's go ahead and I guess take off since we have a rolling start and everything. And let me get my stuff ready here. So now we have a nice little takeoff. So the one thing I added to this is I now have the ability to turn. So I can turn right and I can turn left. And you can see there's a little weight on the bottom of it. That's a little counterweight that's uh, creating the turn. So now I can actually steer into the turns now and just help point the helicopter in the best direction for, uh, you know, for performance flying. And and it's, I mean, it, it handles really good. So you can see that little weight right there spinning on the bottom that's my that's my turn weight so i can fly sideways if i wanted to we can fly like this see and and it, it i mean it, it really lifts like i really have to slow down and it, i mean it just is able to lift all of this so i kind of have to throttle the and feather the throttle to this thing that's why i'm on a controller it just works so much better than trying to be it on a keyboard otherwise you're tapping a keyboard like a thousand times so so yeah so this gives you i can go side to side like that side to side like this and then i can oof, the camera has that weird follow thing so we can do this and then i can turn it into the the direction that we want to go so if i turn this way we can go out and over to the water and just fly around and it works pretty dang good now, one thing I noticed when I, on Steam, I was looking at this game, you know, and I've done a lot of the courses and gotten the gold achievements and found all the treasure chests and all the little book things and all the color blocks and everything. But there are still some achievements that I have not unlocked. And apparently there are some hidden, I guess, color blocks, but I have no idea where the heck those are. So maybe, maybe when we do the tech tree, side of things we will find the additional i don't know the additional uh, achievements one of them is to build a two-speed transmission which is kind of silly because i know i've done that i'm not really sure what that's about but you know i don't know kind of strange so let's just see if i can fly through this thing right here we have, we have to be real careful and we'll just go in here and see if we can fly through this thing like that. There we go. Look at that. Nice. So you see, it's very controllable. And I don't know how all the other helicopters fly, but this, this, you know, the ones I've tried out, you know, do pretty well. But I don't know. I, I think I have something that's pretty good for a for a controller. So I have to keep saying that because, you know, some others, one, other ones fly really well on a keyboard. And I, I might be able to make it fly well on a keyboard, but. Man, I just prefer the controller. <laughs> now, one thing up on this hill is there's like a lot of wind up here and you can actually hear it. And so it makes it kind of challenging to to, to navigate up here. But look at that. So 
And then we can take off again. And go this way. The weird follow cam really can just, you know, disorient you a little bit. So we'll just, oh shoot, what am I doing? We'll go that way. I'm like, oh no, get up there. <laughs> I was going a little too aggressive. All right, so let's turn into our thing and let's get some speed going. So yeah, you guys can see like how that works right there. And I don't know, it's pretty, it works pretty good. So you guys, let me know what you think of this this crazy helicopter. I'll probably do a deep dive into this. I'm gonna like refine it a little bit, maybe try to make it a little, make it look a little better. As right now, I'm not really crazy about how it looks, but it's you know it's performing pretty good. That's kind of the thing I wanted to focus on, and you know, so oh my gosh. But, but anyway, so let's go start the tech tree challenge thing or whatever it's called, the career and go see what how we can do that because i i'm really not exactly 100 percent clear on how to do that so let's just land right over here there we go nice little landing boink nice and we can actually kind of accelerate and i can steer this thing as we go i can bring up the, the back end and i mean just ever so slightly we can get that back end up steer it up the hill <laughs> It's like a like a race car. So look at that. Steering this sucker. That's pretty crazy. So anyway, alright. I need to add brakes to it though. So with that, let's go to the challenge. Back to main menu. And once I get that helicopter refined a little bit, I'll upload that to the workshop also. So here's the tech tree. Alright. And let's do a few races in here. What do we do here? Did I? Oh, career. That's right. Okay. So if I understand right, in order to do the tech tree, we have to build a vehicle with certain components a certain way. So we have to build a vehicle that weighs at least 300 kilograms while we currently have I think 138 kilograms in order to get whatever this is. Like say I want to get this uh, this item right here, I need to make a vehicle that's all wheel drive. So, and then this one, I need to make a vehicle that has 35 grip, I guess. And so we need, it looks like I got a few of these already. So let's just see, well, let's pick something and kind of go for it. All-wheel drive, we can do that. Let's let's choose that and see if we can do an all-wheel drive and maybe knock a couple of these other items out too because there's actually a lot of items here. So let's see, and I'd like to get a shifter. So in order to do the shifter, we need 22 horsepower and and build, build gear big parts. <laughs> what? Build gear big parts. What does that mean? Okay. So yeah, all right. So let's see what we can do over here. Let's just go to our garage. And I guess let's start with this mode. All right, these are the things that I won from the previous challenge. So I, I don't think we can use these and get points for it. I think this is a vehicle that I had before and it is four wheel drive. So we could use that, I think. And this one is two wheel. So why don't we start with this one and choose one of these career paths. So this one is this. Yeah. All right. So this is what we're going for. And we need the reward will be this. So I don't know. Do we get that reward anyway if we finish the race or do we have to have it the four wheel drive? Like, I'm not really sure if it's Either, like you have to do both or either or so let's do this race first right or do i need to do this one so where, where am i at oh here i am so okay so i'm right here that's me and we gotta do that oh i see so why is that's weird so we get that as a reward there or a reward here so maybe there's two different ways to get the rewards huh I don't know. It's kind of confusing. 
All right, let's try this out to see where are we, what, are, what am I doing? Oh, destroy the opponent. All right, that shouldn't be too bad. Oh, shoot. Forgot how squirrely these tires are. Man, that dude's big. Here, you go that way. I'm gonna push you off to the edge. You stuck somewhere. Um, all right, we need to get some momentum. I need to take his wheels out. All right. Come on, dude. Oh, he's fast. There we go. I should keep him from going anywhere, right? Oh, I need a repair. He's still moving? Dude. There we go. Now he's not moving. Take that. He's on the knockout. All right, we got gold. I'm only in position 29,000. Okay, holy cow. That's not good at all. Let's see, let's do okay. Did we get a part? Yay, so we got a little gear corner. Yeah, I mean, if I play the part introduction, I'm not gonna play the part, let's skip that. I know it gives it to me for free, but I'll do that later. Okay, so let's go back to the next challenge. Uh, We'll go to garage. So what all did I get? Did I just get the gear? So we got the gear that we were talking about, but let's let's aim for something else to see if this is how this works. Something that can go 55 kilometers an hour, car weighing 135 pounds. All right, let's go and see what the stat is of this thing, first of all. So I really don't know, like how much power are we making? We're making 21 horsepower. We have 244 kilograms, so we're almost at the 300 mass point. So I could increase that, I think, pretty easily. And we need to get, if we can get up to like 50 miles an hour on our speed, that would be great. So let's see, is there an easy way to do that without getting into gear? Because I don't think we have any gears to work with, do we? Oh, we do. Okay. So why don't we do that? Let's... Let's build something that's still four wheel drive that has gears. Let's check out, make sure what all the components we have. So we have these wheels and these things here. So let's plop these off. We'll put on the other wheels because they are a little better. Oh, I need to buy it. So, okay, one, two, three, four. And put plop these suckers on. We'll keep a small wheelbase. For now, just kind of work within what we have. And let me just build up on this thing here. I'm just going to delete all this craziness in the middle. All right. And that's the middle point. So should be able to I'm gonna make four. Okay. And Let's stick this one in the middle, you know, actually let's stick it all the way. All right, let's put that in the middle like that. And then we're going to put this gear right there. Why is that not going in? Oh, I need to buy it. Okay, and let's see. So then I want to turn one of these gears probably like maybe can we Oh, do I not have enough cash? Dang, <laughs> I'm so used to having like unlimited cash. Okay, so that's a little tricky. All right, we need to. I didn't mean to I keep buying these things. Let's see. What can we do with this here? Let's try. Okay, 
we're going to do that. And I'm going to replace this one with a little three gear. Oh, nope. I need to do that with the four gear thing like that. And mm. okay, so we I need to mount another one of these things over here. Okay. Take that out. Okay. All right, so we're going to turn that like that, like that. Oh, man. Oh, I need 18 more freaking points. Okay. We need, like, a ability to sell things. All right, so we're going to have to change up what I was initially doing, but I think what I'm going to do is move. Okay, let's get rid of that. And let's go over here. God dang, every time. That's why I waste so much money doing that. And then we're going to remove that. Put that there. And this here all right i think i have something that's going to work it's two-wheel drive at the moment but i think that will allow us to oh do we just get okay so build the rubber tires so we use the rubber tires so we just get that achievement or i mean item i don't know is that how that works i'm still trying to figure that out oh we just have those wheels there okay so how fast are we going now We've gone up a little bit, but we've reduced our top speed and even our weight. So let's see what we can get with this. So we hit T. Does it tell us what we're about to get at all? Like this, they're grayed out. Car with a minimum grip of 35. So. Okay. Got that already. A weight would be good, but we need a super heavy vehicle. I want this engine. Let's see, electric only, a car with at least seven horsepower. Okay. Don't I have seven horsepower? Let's look. I have seven horsepower. <laughs> All right, so maybe that's what we're getting next. Let's go to the next challenge. Oops. Do, do, do. All right, so we got gold there. Next one is downhill adventure. Looks like we can get the wider carriage wheel. All right, let's try this one. Okay, here we go. Holy cow. Forgot about these races. Whoa. I'm very squirrely. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Wrong way, dude. Went to turn and it just. Okay. Come on. Stay straight. Stay straight. Oh, okay. See if we can catch up to the leader, maybe. Where are we going? Where are we going? Okay, that way. Oh, I think there's a jump up here, if I remember right. I think we have to jump off this thing. Oh my gosh. a durable car <laughs> oh he's stuck oh no he finished never mind what did i get oh he got gold 58 seconds all right well, at least we got silver so we got the motor 
There we go. And we got the larger wagon wheels. Okay. All right. So now we have the bigger motor. And what kind of cash did we get? I don't remember. Let's see. What we need next is... We have all this stuff up there. It would be nice to have like some better wheels and tires. Okay, so we, what do we need to get down this path here? So there's like a gray path and we have a blue path. So build thin rubber tire parts. I need six of them. Do we need six wheels? Is that what it's saying? All right, let's go out of here. And let's see how much money do I have? All right, we got a little bit, but I'd rather have more gears. Those are 22, those are 40. So we could do, we do need some better tires. So is it saying that we need six now? We need a vehicle with six tires. Let's buy two of those. Let's get two those. Oh, I can only get one of those. All right, can I get 32? Th no, I don't have enough to get another one of those. All right, we'll get one of these. All right, and then what we'll do, see what kind of part do we have? Oh, we do have some longer parts. All right, let's do this. Let's extend our vehicle a little bit. So I, I ran out of money to be able to put the six wheel on here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to try to go redo this race real quick and see if I can get gold real quick. All right, got gold real quick. I got us some money to work with now. Okay, so now I can buy six wheels. Did I, do I already have six wheels? Wait, what? That's weird. I guess we got extra wheels or something somehow by winning that. Oh, no, no. I needed these things. That's what I needed. All right, so that's what I need. Oh, shoot. That's not what I need. Undo. So we're going to add our six wheel on this guy right here. Copy that over like that. There we go. Buy one of those. One of these. And then we can put a wheel there and our wheel there. Nice. So now we have six wheels. Wonder if we need to make those things drive. And let's see, I can probably buy one of these things here. We need at least two. No, we need four of these things. Okay, we need four of those. So we have at least four wheel drive. And now we can swap out these motors here and see if I can get to the original Whatever the heck I was trying to do earlier. Oh, I can't. Okay. All right. So we're going to put those motors back because I can't afford the other ones yet. So this should get us on the right path for tires, I think. Right. If I'm understanding, like, I don't know. You guys tell me in order to get this, we need to build thin rubber parts. I need six of six. So I need six wheels. And then the next one we're going to need. I guess, do we win this or do we win that? And then looks like we'll be able to get unlock these. So I guess what shows up green with the lock sign is what we're going to end up getting if we complete a race. Do we have to get gold or just silver in order to win these things? I'm assuming that's what we do. Now, what's the difference between green and blue? I don't know. So there we have a green path goes to lock and then blue is that blue what we've already completed i guess and then green is what is locked so that's what we're going to unlock so we're going to unlock a bunch of things here oh we get the gas motor that will be nice all right let's go do the next race see if we can actually unlock all of that stuff so we've got gold here now and now we're going to go for this race between the rocks and then we get rocks and drift mm. oh that's a crazy looking thing all right let's do this thing this looks interesting I wonder if that's a shortcut over there. Okay, 
There we go. I wonder what the deal with the countdown is. Oh, we're slow. Oh, dude's real slow, eh? Just gonna follow this dude. Not doing terrible. Somebody's on our tail, though. Oh my god! <laughs> that crazy brick-looking thing. How many gears does that guy have on? Oh, we're all slidey now. Oh, we have a sharp turn coming. Hey, okay. don't beat me. Can't be beaten by a freaking board cube. All right, let's. Oh my gosh. Why's that guy so fast? He's got 12 million gears on him, I guess. Now we're lap one of two. Oh, shoot. Dang. That's not what I needed. So I could take that bridge, I guess. Take some shortcuts here. Man, that little cube is fast. He needs to flip over or something, okay? Oh my gosh, I'm I'm in the bronze level. I think that's what it's telling me. to add some more motors we need some more speed is this the finish line oh that's the finish line right there man i got beat by the dang cube kidding me golly that was terrible Ugh, I'm only positioned 9,000. Okay. Oh, somehow we got a new part. I don't know how that happened. Oh, I guess we still get a part because we made our vehicle to those specifications, maybe? I don't know. Let's go back to the build. And let's hit T. So, so we didn't unlock. Maybe we need to, in order to do that, we have to get like silver or something. Because this right now, it seems like, let's try to make our vehicle faster. That's not a hard race. We just need to be faster somehow. But we did get a bigger motor though. We don't have a shifter, so I can't make a transmission. So I think the best thing to do here is to stagger some motors somehow all right let's try this let's see about creating a thing okay i think we could do something like this oh you know what i could probably delete that thing put a longer rod there like that then oh i don't have any more of those like that and then i should be able to stack a bunch of motors Right here, that's four motors. And we are six wheel drive now. Throw us some capacitors on there. And let's see what our increase is. Okay, so our max speed is still slow. We need to increase our max speed, man. Do I have enough to buy those other motors? No, I only have 58 coins. So let's try that race again and see if I can get some more money out of it too. Actually, why don't we do the next race and then I'll come back to that. Okay. 
I didn't see what kind of race this was. Two, three. We should have some good acceleration now. Yeah, much better on acceleration. Just top speed is lacking. Oh my gosh. It's really lacking. It's kind of funny where I'm technically driving the same kind of car that I had <laughs> earlier. It's just got a bunch of bicycle wheels on it. Having the six wheel drive definitely helps. I'm super slow though. Oof. Oh, I remember this one. We're in bronze. Man, we need some speed. I don't like getting bronze. Guys, Porky. His wagon wheels. Okay. I think I probably need to get some more money. I might do one of those other races and get gold while I'm at it. I'm ahead of him at the moment. Oh, that guy's got some problems. Oh. <laughs> okay. Do we get any parts here? Oh, we got silver. I didn't know. Okay. That was, I thought we were on our on bronze. All right. So we got that. We won that part. We'll skip the introduction. Go build. And I don't think I have enough. I need... Oh, I can get one of these. That's not going to help. I do have a big gear, though. But... Oh, I don't have this geared up at all. Alright, let me play around with an idea here. Alright, so I made a crazy contraption here. And I have, I was able to get one of these motors and I have three of these and then we have them geared up. So we should have faster miles per hour now. Something's not connected. Okay, there we go. So yeah. All right. So now we're able to get higher miles per hour. We have a little bit more power and speed. So let's see if we can get gold on that race now and beat those guys. I don't know if we can. There we go. That guy is still super fast. Maybe I'm not as fast as I thought I was on the last thing. Man. He is way up there. We gotta beat him. So, I don't see that happening. Our current setup. Although we're super stable. Maybe I can get us into the silver and have that cube passing us again. Dude's gone. Wow. Oh. Crazy. Thought about taking this shortcut right here. Is this a good idea? I don't know if this is a good idea. Okay. Well, maybe. No. 
That guy's still in the same spot behind me. Oh my gosh, really? Big cube. You need to chill out, dude. You and your 4,000 gears. Oh, thing. Why is he all of a sudden like fast? Like, it starts off slow. It's all over the place. We need we need to be able to like run into him. All right, see so if we can make this turn. We gotta be able to beat him around all this. Some things doing good though. That guy's already at the finish line. I think we got silver though. <laughs> 301, yeah. That's silver, so that's good. So, since we got silver, does that mean we got these other things? No. But we did get the spoiler and this, so now we just need the bigger tire, which this would allow us to get a higher art miles per hour also. It says build with six rubber tire parts. I think I'm do it says I have six to six, but I think we have to get gold in order to win these last two pieces. I'm assuming. I don't see anywhere where it says that's what has to happen. Oh, it says up, wait, wait, gain bronze and break the car or up the hill. I see. There's more instructions right there. Break the car or up the hill. So where is break the car or up the hill? Break the car and then up the hill is somewhere else. Okay, so we need to get bronze in that. So let's do this real quick. I'm a little heftier now. There we go. He's not going anywhere now. That was fast. We have a health. I didn't realize we had health up there. We're at 63% health. Interesting. Or no, I guess he's at 63% health, maybe. I don't know. We got gold, though. So now we should get a part, right? There we go. So that's how we get it. Okay. So we need to... I, I missed that. All right. So go to build. And then the T. All right. So in order to get it here, we have to do the downhill adventure or climb up the hill, which I don't think we're quite there yet on that. Um, let's go back to, I keep hitting the wrong key. Okay, so we're going to have to get more power out of this guy. And I think the best way to do that is more motors. We don't have the other one, but I can buy another one of those. And then I might have to do a couple of races to earn some more coins. Um, so I see. All right, it's all making sense now. So we can copy that, stick that right, right there. And then what did that increase our power to? 35 miles per hour. So, uh, but we got more acceleration, right? Yep. And not any more speed. So our acceleration is at 23, grip at 57. All right. So I'm not really sure. I'm going to probably have to go up to this gear in order to get more speed, which that is going to be crazy, which I could do. I can just move all this up one block and do that. But I think right now, let's see, where are we at on our challenge, our career deal? So we have gold, gold, silver, and silver. So I'll come back and we'll get gold and then we'll knock out the combustion king over here. But we need to win probably the motor. Like this is going to, oh, it's going to win that motor. Okay. So I guess getting gold there, we'll get that motor maybe. And then we can also work towards in the career. 
I mean, in, in the garage, we can, on the uh, tech tree, we can work to try to get one of these other things here. But I think these are going to require us to scooch up a, a level on some new tracks. So we'll do that next time. But anyway, all right, well, this was fun. That's cool. I kind of like how this is set up now, now that I understand exactly what to do. Why do they keep saying new? I guess that's the new thing right there. So with the new thing, gain bronze in the race between rock and roll. Okay. And all right, so we already have two of the other engines. So that was the qualifier we needed for that to use those two other engines. So we have two on our vehicle now right here, two of these in order to get to this level. So that's cool. Okay. So, all right. All right. So I think I'm going to end the episode here and I think it's a good stopping point. And then when I come back, we'll tweak on this guy, maybe switch out the medium sized gear to the large gear and do a few races so that I can replace all these motors with four of the electric ones and then see what we need to get to get to the see what, <laughs> blah, see what we need to be able to get to a gas powered ICE engine over here, wherever the heck it's at right there. So we have most of the Okay, so we have all the requirements. The only thing that we need is just convert our vehicle to rear wheel drive only, which is pretty easy. So in order to do that, all I got to do is just disconnect these little cogs right here. So I just remove this cog right there and this one back there. And then he, this thing will be rear wheel drive. Um, yeah, wait, no, how? Oh, I might not be able to do that as easily as I think. Unless I could just make that tire rear wheel drive. I don't know unless it's going to count this one. So I might have to make an adjustment somewhere. So we'll figure that out. But anyway, will you guys let me know what you think of this new tech tree career path. And then also on the other two vehicles that I covered at the beginning of the episode with the car and the air brake and the new helicopter setup and all that. Uh, let me know what you think about those things. And if you have any other ideas or any suggestions on things that I can do to improve those. That would be great. Appreciate you guys leaving all the comments and all the feedback and kind of discussing in the comment section. It's been great. So anyway, with that, I appreciate it. And make sure you like and subscribe on the videos. Hit the little bell notification for more content. I'm posting on a few other videos as well. So one of them I'm covering right now is the Trailmakers. So I'm back into Trailmakers right before they come out with the new DLC they're doing, which Trailmakers is very similar to this game. And it's just a little bit more refined. It's been around a lot longer. And, and then what's the other one that I'm playing? I'm kind of forget at the moment. <laughs> so what, what are we, what are we playing? We got, we got screwdrivers and trail makers and oh, Terratech, Terratech worlds. So there's Terratech, the original and Terratech worlds, which is the new beta version of the game. It's out, it's a pre-release, you know, pre-alpha kind of thing or whatever. Or I guess it's not alpha, but I'm playing in their, you know, a beta version. And it's a pretty cool game too. Very similar. It's kind of, you know, like Legos and build this stuff and it has a whole little kind of theme to it. So those are two, two other games that I'm, I'm playing quite a bit. And then I'm probably going to start up another series as well in my back into my survival crafts games that I've been doing. So I'm not sure which one probably going to be an update on sunken land, which is a game that I've been playing for a while and it just came out where it had an update a while back and I need to uh, cover that. So Anyway, just to run down to some of the things that I'm covering on the channel, but you guys check out whatever you like. And again, I appreciate it. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.